Hey Defenders, welcome back. In this video, I want to show you guys how we can use a function within Shuffle to actually allow us to build our own regex capturing statements and a little bit of what exactly that means. And then I want to run you guys through an actual real life use case of receiving data that may not always be perfectly clear and we need to kind of modify it and extract it in a different way. And we're going to use regex to enable us to do that. As you guys are probably already used to from a few of our uh, previous videos, the data can be pretty, right? Here's just a wazoo alert that I'm looking at here. So here we have an SSH authentication success. You see all of these values here have their own fields um, and it's kind of pretty fied, right? It's easy to visualize. We can then take these values and pass them to other nodes within the workflow very easily um, but that's not always the case uh, sometimes data is just not that pretty um, so here for example you see like our email so taylor at opensecure.co my name as taylor and then a message that i left open source is awesome so as you see here email doesn't have its own key and field right name doesn't have its own key and field and the message doesn't have its own key and field so if we were to try to extract everything out from shuffle just natively we would get this whole string where maybe i want to parse out the email address and send them a message hey thanks for sending us an email maybe i want to capture the name so i can make a greeting say hey taylor thank you for submitting a, a request for a demo or something like that right so what we're going to use is actually an action within Shuffle called regex capture group. And we're going to provide the input data and then we're going to build a regex statement to capture what in particular we want to capture. So in this little screenshot here, I'm capturing the message field and then I'm just wildcarding everything that happens after the message string is found, right? So we're telling, re the, we're telling regex, hey, I want you to search for the string message. We then have our tune colons and then anything after the message. And that's what we're stating with this parenthesis dot wildcard parenthesis. So we're saying anything after this field, I want you to go ahead and capture. And here we can see the result of this function. We see the actual message. Open source is awesome, right? So we're able to use regex to actually capture that. Some of you guys that may be lost right now, um, hopefully an actual walkthrough demo will help you guys out. So here I have a blank, uh, a blank workflow and let me just call this, um, let's say reg, I'll just call that regex and I'm going to repeat back to me. I'm just going to use the repeat back to me to quickly build an example. And what I'm going to repeat back to me will just be my email, my name, and then my message. I'll change our message here to please subscribe. All right. So if I go ahead and save and run this off and all right, so here you see our result, right? So our, our email, our name, and then our message. And so this isn't exactly easy for us to read, or we can't necessarily take one of these values like our email address, for example, and then send out a confirmation to the user that actually requested, we'll just say like a demo <laughs> for this example. So let's actually now use regex to parse out the email field. So I'm going to drag over another shuffle tool. I'm going to select this guy and I'll call this just uh, capture email. And for my action, I'm going to search for the for the regex capture group. And now we're going to give it an input data and that input data is just going to be our regex, right? So the data that is set there. So I'll just select the regex and then now I need to specify, okay, what do I want to parse out? Well, so for this example, I want to grab, or for this particular node, I want to grab the email. The, what I'm looking to capture will follow directly after the email is found. So I'm going to specify our regex. So we're saying email, 
and then there is a space there this has to be very literal so you can't miss out on any spaces uh any colons for example it, it's very literal so make sure that you are including everything as you see and then the parentheses is saying okay what what is it that i want to actually like store as my value uh, so anything that's that you want to actually store as your value you'll put in your parentheses here and you can also go to like a regex a good tool to use when building these out is just like a online regex tester um, you can do like this regex builder for example and input a string so you could test your string like taylor one two three and let's say is i'll say tay and then following it with a dot star you see what i would actually capture right so so i'm saying i want you to look for for tay and then once you find that i want you to now have a new group with lar lor123 and you can see that group one is here with those contents right so kind of the same principle applies we're telling shuffle hey look for email and then i want you to only group together what is within this parenthesis and so we specify that and then when we run this we should uh only get back our email address so we see our regex go so okay email tailored open co and we get our regex capture and sure enough look at that so group zero we have taylor at opensecure.co right so awesome now let's do the same and it's as easy as that so let's actually do the same now with name so i want to grab the name field so i'll connect this guy here and i'll call this guy capture name again use our regex capture and our input data is going to be our regex data and here i'll say name and then boom 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 so same thing and now we should get our email parsed out and then our name parsed out as well so again we get our email so that looks good and then if we also look at the name now we are parsing out the name so we can see taylor and we could do the same for message but the the same thing would would actually apply the, the same steps would actually apply so okay now that we're able to parse this stuff out like what is actually a good use case like this is very useful but it may be hard for you guys to kind of understand why this may be useful so i want to actually run through uh, an actual use case of is a new contact workflow so if someone fills out a new contact form on a website this would route to us and we're now able to get the sender email so we can send them a confirmation message and then also a sender name as well so we can say hey xyz thanks for thanks for your interest and then we can use those to reply back to the sender so i'll implement my name i'll give my email say my company is open secure i'll say please subscribe and let me check these boxes off so now this is a and this is how we can kind of use shuffle to kind of bring various technologies together right so now i have a website where i have a contact where we have a contact form and i submit this form and there's some php under the hood that routes this to my email to the sock fortress email so anytime we get an email, this trigger kicks off and here we go. So we're seeing our workflow start to go now. So now I'm getting the email contents and I'll kind of slow this down here in a sec once this finishes running. But our end result now looks like this. Hey Taylor, so it's able to strip out my name. It's able to get my email address, right? So it knows now who to respond to. And then just a little bit of blurbage uh, down at the bottom. So, okay, so how, how did that happen? Well, we're actually using regex to actually strip out the necessary fields. So in this case, well, what are the fields we want to grab? We want to grab the email address so we know who to reply to. And then we also want to get the name so we can do a greeting. In this case, hey, Taylor. I'll hover over my get sender email. And here we're using the same, uh, the same action as just before. So regex capture group and what we are the input data is our repeat email contents of so this node right because this node gets all of the email 
and we're getting the dot body dot content field and what exactly is that that is this field here so we have body and then dot content and again you see that this isn't they don't all have their own unique fields so we need to use regex to actually capture these guys so our first so our regex to get our email for example I'm telling our regex to, okay, disregard everything before you see email. And I want you to match on email uh, space. Again, spaces are very important. So we are, with this statement, we're disregarding all that. We then have our space colon space, right? So here we see email and then space colon space. So again, we're using our dot wildcard here, right? Because we want to match on everything up until the at sign. And this question mark here is just a, a, a regex capturing group that you can use to just match uh, zero or unlimited time. So we're basically just saying, hey, I want you to match all the way up until you see an at sign. And that because we know we're expecting an at sign within there because it is an email address and then we're using the dot star again to just be anything even after the fact so if we then see what the value was for the last time this ran we see it's able to strip out our info at opensecure.co so it's able to actually strip out our email address using this regex match and if we do the same if we look at the same for the get uh for sender name you see it's not as complex because the again the begin name is the first start of our string so you notice i don't have to do the slash wild card like we had to do with email right because begin name is the first string within our block here that we get back we don't have to do that because it's the start of it so we're saying okay i want you to match on begin we're seeing a begin name space colon space and then i want you to match on anything after that and that is what we're going to group together right so that'll be our tailor in this case so then we're actually able to now so now that we have those set right so we can now refer back to these nodes to grab these values and auto send out an email saying hey thanks for contacting us right so because we have the email address and then we have the sender name we can now route this email appropriately so here you see our recipient field and one thing to note here uh, you'll see the group zero dot uh, a hashtag and then a zero so because this is a list you see this is a list we have one item we're grabbing the this is a array we get an array back to us we want to grab the first value of that array and that's going to be the zero field so if you had multiple values like a zero a one a two a three you would specify that here so in this case i want to grab the first element in that array but say i wanted to grab the second one i would do a one or a two um, but in this case i want to grab the first one in that field and that also applies for the sender name as well so here you can see as i'm building that email we have a dot a hashtag and a zero again because this is an array within this node here and what that results in is then us getting a is then allowing us to auto send out emails without any human interaction, right? We're using shuffle to first kick off when a email has entered our inbox. And that's what I'm doing with this trigger here. We're then repeating the contents. And if we all, and if we look at this guy here, we see all the email and what we're particularly interested in is the body content because that contains all of our crucial data that we need for the rest of this workflow, such as the name and the email address. So we then, use our regex capture to strip that out so we can actually get the corresponding email address as the only value in this field so we can then call it when we're sending our email out and then we do the same for the name we're able to strip out the name and that results in a friendly little greeting hey taylor and it gets routed to my correct inbox so really powerful stuff here um i hope it's 
regex can be a little complex and kind of hard to wrap your mind around so i i hope this video has helped there are also a ton of regex guides and stuff online uh, i really like to use the regex builder uh, as i'm building these out I, I wanted to show you guys initially kind of how we can do this and also show you guys a real use case on why this is beneficial because it may be kind of hard to understand why well why would i even want to do this but here's kind of a use case of you know your data is not always going to come in as you need it to you may need to kind of massage the data a little bit and the regex capture group action is a great way to do that so i think that wraps it up for today's video i appreciate you guys hanging out with me and i will see you in the next one